Everyone, Patrick back with another movie review. Tonight's movie is from the year 2018. It is entitled The Fair, and I found it on Tubi. This guy's driving a cab, and he's sent to the middle of nowhere. And uh, he kind of thinks maybe it's a prank, but he meets this woman. Picks her up. They're making small talk. He drives into this really bad storm. There's a flash of lightning. Uh, he's forced to come to a stop. And he looks back in the back seat, and the woman isn't there. He doesn't know what to make of this, and he calls his dispatch, and the dispatcher says, what are you talking about? Are you drunk? And he says, listen, I'm telling you, there was a broad in the back seat, and she's not there now. I don't know what the hell is going on. The guy says, it's kind of rough out there. Come back into town. But he never gets back into town because he's stuck in a time loop, and he ends up driving and picking up the same woman. And uh, he remembers her a little, but he's getting flashbacks. And eventually, after a few times, they realize that they have both been through this before and they're both stuck in the same time loop. And they try different things to get out of it, but they just can't. And eventually, slowly, things are revealed as they ask questions and they try to figure out what exactly is going on. This is not a really original premise. There are so many of these type of time loop movies now. Um, and this one is definitely lower budget, but uh, I guess that's the good thing about doing a time loop movie. It's cheaper to film because you can use a lot of the footage over and over again. Um, but the acting is pretty good. The, the cab driver is very good. The woman, she's a little bit cutesy, but uh, she's not terrible. Um, and some of it's interesting because sometimes they just joke around and talk and laugh, and then other times they have serious conversations until they eventually figure out that the reason why they are tied together. Um, so yeah, like I said, not the most original but of this type of movie, it's one of the better ones you're going to find, uh, especially for the lower budget efforts like this. Um, rating 6 out of 10 is probably fair.